This is my review on the KJV Expressionist Bible, journaling through God's Word. Uh, I actually have the black one here. The text on this is actually an eight-point text. Words of Christ are in red. You also have a two-inch margin. This Bible is not actually that big. I was you quite surprised. It's actually one, I'd say six and six and three quarters by seven and a half. And one and a quarter inch thick. There's no gilding or anything on this. It's all, it's all white. Quite nice actually. It is Smithsonian. So it's not going to fall apart on you halfway through when you're doing your notes. Or if you decide to do journaling or whatever else with this. You have one black ribbon. It's quite nice. It's only one side is satin. Other side is flat. Um... Uh, Hendrix and Bibles published this this Bible, and this is your IBSN number. This is to get the black one. Now the black one actually feels like, to me, it feels like it's a leather soft black over a hardcover book. It's actually quite nice, and if you look here, even the even the corners on this Bible. Are done quite nicely nice and even you have a nice paste down inside nice pattern you've got your first page your presentation page and two by date occasion you have psalms down here it's quite a nice little presentation page your inside cover These are the other ones you can get in this. You can get the black hardcover, which is this one here, a brown hardcover, and the deluxe hardcover. It's printed in China. And here we have the contents. So we have the, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And we have it also in alphabetical order. Epistle Dedics of Kutori we have here, which is quite unusual to have in something like this. And we start with the Old Testament. You've got a lot of paper, spare paper in here too, just for notes as well. So you've got all this as well. And this here. And you have a quite, quite a decent margin here. And it's just a little over two inches, if you have a look there. But if you go from line to line, you're looking at two inches. Now, it is paragraph, it's not verse by verse. But you have these, the, the numbers are bold every now and then. So that sort of helps you find where you are. If you're looking for a Pacific... A Pacific verse, which is a good idea, because otherwise you just you just get a little bit lost with paragraphs. I find paragraphs. Why would you do? But this one's not too bad. The print is quite clear. You even have telescope words here. Print. So that's good. There's no there's no cross references in this, but you can you know you get plenty of room here to write your own cross references in. It is quite nice paper, actually. I don't know what the bleed through like is on this, but I would be using the micron pens anyway, because they're the ones I use. And I don't think you'd have a problem with the microns on this. Let's use a red letter, and I'll show you some of the red. We're in the poetry section. Prophets. Okay, keep on going. Oh, here we go. New Testament. And there's the front of the New Testament. So lots of room for more notes. Or journaling or art or whatever you like to do with these. 
And then we're here on Ray Matthew. We'll find some red. Find some decent red. Here we go. Actually, not too bad, the red. With the red, it's actually easy to find the numbers, too. Have a close look because the numbers are actually in black. I do, I have noticed that the, the red is actually consistent all the way through on this. Some parts might be a little bit darker, just about here's just that little bit darker, but it's definitely not lighter, so it's definitely quite a readable red. And I think we'll check if it's in Revelations as well. You can see heaps of room here because every book starts on a new page. So you've got heaps of room too after, the, after that book. And yes we do. Revelations does have the red in it as well. We go to the end of Revelations and we'll find out what's at the end of the book. Quite nice actually. I like the size of this because it's not big and bulky, so you can just you can take it around with you. Like I've got a wide margin, and, and yeah, they can be a bit they can be a bit bulky to take anywhere with you. So this is quite good actually. So this is what we got at the end. quite a few pages of it too. Miracles of the Old Testament, which is quite good. And the Old Testament prophecies of the Passion. Okay. Well, that's neat. That's a good idea too. Parables of the, New, of the New Testament and parables in Acts and the Apostles. And you have a, a piece of card paper at the back which you can write on. But these corners even at the back are quite nice. Nice and even. I'll right, get this to focus for you. Oh, you're not going to focus. Okay. Be like that. But they, they are quite nice, and it's actually quite well, it's quite well pasted down too, so there's no lifting in it on any of it. It's all quite well pasted down. Quite impressed. Like I said, she has one ribbon, and the ribbon is actually in straight. It's only on an angle because it's over there, but the ribbon is actually in straight. It's quite a nice binding as well on this. The bottom head. Hmm, they've done a quite nice job on this. For such a reasonably priced Bible, I think they retail... It doesn't actually say... I think they retail for around $19 or something. It doesn't actually tell me on here. Like this was a gift, so. But anyway, it doesn't really. I mean, uh, they're a great Bible anyway. If you want to pause and read some of this, and there's your ISBN number if you'd like to order this Bible. I'd say most Christian bookshops would hold this or Amazon. Yeah, and she is a quite nice Bible. You can got little bit you can see like little bit of grain on it. Try and get it so that you can see it. But it is quite nice. It even feels like that leather soft material that's on those some of those Bibles you get. Like you can feel it there. 
Oh. And that's not just printed on, that's actually indented in the Holy Bible at the front. It's actually indented. Hmm. On the on the spines actually just printed on. Some of these hubs are just printed on. It's just stamped on. But that one's actually quite deep in. There you go, you can sort of see it. Huh. Not a bad hand size, see? Quite a nice little Bible. Have another look at the print. So, thank you for watching. I hope you like the review. Bye.